hey what's going on guys I'm back and I'm back with another video and this is what we'll be creating in today's tutorial alright I hope you like that little preview there uh, so what we'll have to do is open up your hit film express select the template I'm going to select 1080p at 60 frames per second then click on start compositing click on this little clock icon right here to open up the composite shot properties I'm going to change the duration and make it 5 seconds long and then click on OK. Let's create a new background layer. So I'm going to click on new layer then click on plane and uh, I'm going to rename this to BG and uh, choose a different color. Uh, something like uh, the purple. It's completely up to you Then click on OK and then again click on OK. Next step is to create a text layer. So again, click on new layer, then click on text. And I'm going to set the width to 1920 and height to 1080. Click on OK. Select your text tool. Type in your text. I'm going to type in split. Click Control A. Go to the text tab. And here you can change the font. And I'm going to select this Arial Black font. And also, I like the color to be. Uh, like an orange color maybe and then click on OK also I'm gonna increase the font size so maybe 220 looks fine 10 ADP title save guide and apply it on your BG layer and uh, what that will do is give these all these little guidelines or these lines that will help you to find the center point I'm going to delete this action safe area. I don't need that. So uh, what we have to do is let's just rename this to D1. Expand it. Go into transform. And you can just change the position here. I'm going to put this text right over here. Okay. Now uh, the next step is to create a new plane layer. And I'm going to rename this to mask and uh, give it a different color let's go with this pink color doesn't really matter since this won't be visible in your animation click on ok expand it go to transform and set the opacity to 50 percent just to see what uh, what's going behind it what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this little icon chain icon right here to break the link i'm going to set the scale to 0.5 and uh, make sure your playhead is at the first frame of your video and I'm gonna click on this icon to create a keyframe now let's move forward in time uh, maybe around at around one second I want the scale to be at uh, let's do 17 percent yeah that looks fine so you'll have something like this and also uh, we'll animate the position so again I'm gonna drag this shape and move it to the left and I'm gonna create create blah, blah, blah. and I'm gonna create a keyframe there and again move forward in time at around one second I want this position to be at zero so we have something like this and I want the scale, these two scale keyframes to be uh, right over here. Alright, I'm going to select all of these keyframes, convert these to manual bezier. Okay, so you have something like this. Let's create a new text layer. Click on OK. Select the text tool and type in your text. I'm going to type in style. Hit Ctrl A to select that text. Go into the text tab and here you can change the font. I'm just going to use this font and also decrease the font size as well. And change the font color to like white. Click on OK. Again, you can just rename this to T2 and 
go inside that layer go inside transform and let's change the position let's try to bring it in the center okay now I'm just going to put this mask layer at the top and what we have to do now is to in the effects tab search for set matte effect and apply it on your T1 layer with the control tab uh, expand the set matte um, set the source layer to mask and set the blend to subtract again apply the set matte effect on your T2 layer this time uh, we'll set the source layer to mask and uh, blend to subtract and then make sure you click on this checkbox that says inward just make sure that you just click on that box right there expand your BG layer and you can just get rid of this tile safe area we don't need that anymore so that's it that's how you create this animation and you can oh, I mean, just forgot to hide this mask layer let's see yeah that's how you create this animation guys I uh, hope this video was helpful I hope um, you learned something new if you did please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one